Hi, my name is Rob Roy. I'm the Environmental Director for the La Jolla Band of Los Angeles Indians. Uh, I feel really privileged to work here. I've worked here for almost 10 years now. My name is Adam Geisler. I serve as the secretary for the La Jolla Band of San Diego Indians. My relationship began with the San Diego Foundation at 18 years of age when I received uh, funding to intern in my environmental department here at the tribe. Throughout the last 10 years that I have worked with the foundation, they have provided assistance and support for our tribe, both with our environmental uh, issues and also uh, the recovery of our reservation after the 2007 wildfires. The amount of support we've received from the San Diego Foundation has been just truly amazing over the years. Back in, in 2004, the foundation granted a Blasker grant to the La Jolla Band of Los Indian Indians, and that was to study uh, nitrate levels in the San Luis Rey River and to work on water monitoring um, issues throughout the reservation. Since that time, we've done a multitude of projects. We have greatly increased our water quality monitoring on the reservation. There has been support for our non-point source pollution control program, stream bank restoration projects. We have started mold monitoring in, in uh, residents' homes. The foundation has also provided support for solid waste cleanups on the reservation to increase the rate of recycling on the reservation, to go out and delineate and, and assess the condition of the wetlands on the reservation, uh, to provide assistance with our air monitoring program, the current project that we're working on with the foundation is for this community park. Everybody on the reservation is so excited about this project. And we were able to bring many more partners together on the project. Nike, LA87, the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. And we've all collaborated together to create this area where we're going to have native plant gardens, um, organic food gardens, traditional medicinal plant gardens, uh, opportunities for recreation at the baseball field, the basketball court, horseshoe pits, and uh, what will end up being a quarter mile walking path that will encircle and go all throughout the park with interpretive signing all throughout the park. This community park is just such a fantastic project. Without the resources that the San Diego Foundation has provided that we've been able to use as leverage and match for other granting opportunities and programs, La Jolla wouldn't be where they are today. Uh, the dollars provided really did greatly impact the lives of our members and without the equipment that came along with those dollars we never would have been able to mitigate issues that we had experienced as a result of the fires whether it is erosion control, bank stabilization, uh, road access, emergency access, assistance with our water system, with debris removal, burn, burn areas obviously as well. All of these things that I think greatly impact our, um, our physical environment around us. One of the things that the Foundation excels at is really bringing people together. We've collaborated with a number of different organizations. Uh, the San Diego Foundation has allowed us to leverage additional funding resources met many different people through the foundation. The foundation has also provided support for the staff in the environmental office and the staff of the reservation as a whole to obtain training education to increase travel capacity. Of course, one of the other main things that the San Diego Foundation loves to do is to provide support for community volunteers, to really engage the community, to bring together community members to do community cleanups and for a lot of education and outreach to explain a lot of the issues to people that may not have been familiar to let them understand the things that we're doing. Things that most people would take for granted on a day-to-day -day basis living in town are things that really are hard to come by up here um, living so far away out in, in such a rural area and without the support of the San Diego Foundation we really wouldn't be here. Uh, and our tribe is. We're, we're truly grateful to the sponsorship and the donors and, uh, and the friends that we have within the organization. I think another important piece that the San Diego Foundation um, continually shows is an understanding of the Native American community and, uh, and how we appreciate our environment and how we would like to see our environment kept up around us. What's beautiful about the San Diego Foundation is that they're truly partners. They come in, they listen to what we have to say, they approach us with the dignity and respect that all tribal governments, I think, should be approached with, and they work with us. Um, because at the end of the day, they see the long-term effects that we're all trying to achieve, both as a, as a tribal government, tribal citizens, and um, seeing how that relationship and what we do impacts others outside of our environment and our arena. Obviously, we'd like to someday be able to repay what um, 
the San Diego Foundation has done for us. Um, and hopefully down the road we'll have the resources to, to sit at the table as a donor. You know, we do believe as Indian people to try to give back, um, not just take what's been given to us, but really come around in a full circle and, and share those things.